Hey, what's up turtles? It's Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. Today I'm going to be doing a video showing how to put up a tarp and secure it on a ridgeline using stakes or any other uh, object you can find in the woods and that will make a little bit more sense once I show you my style and preference of uh, sort of guying out a ridgeline or a tent. Uh, guy lines on a tent or a tarp. What I have here is this OD Green uh, ENO sort of specifically made for hammock camping the design of the tarp. But anything I'm going to do in this video, it will uh, it will apply to a tarp as long as it has grommets in it. Um, you can use anything I'm going to show you uh, for like a square tarp or a rectangular tarp. <clears throat> I'm going to pull the tarp out. I have all my guy lines already attached to it in little hangs here at the end, which is really nice. I don't have to, you know, each time I put up my tarp, I don't have to try to find or you know bring out new guy lines, bring out cordage, cut down the size. I have attached to my tarp, ready to go when I need it. Try to open this up, get it over the ridge line without really letting it hit the ground. Which is important. Definitely don't want a hole in your in your tarp that's supposed to be rainproof. Sort of trying to make sense of it before I toss it up over the ridge line. And it's nice to have a ridge line putting up a tarp because I can do just that. I can put it up, get it off the get it off of the ground most of the, most of the way. and work it where it needs to be. All right, I sort of got roughly where I want on the ridge line. Now I'm just gonna attach the tarp to the ridge line using a prusik hitch, which I've already done a video on. But basically a prusik hitch, like I said, I'm not gonna explain it in depth to do it multiple times for the sake of this video. There's more of a in-depth video on it. This cordage is a little funky, but it definitely will work. Make sure it's neat when I get it down to where I want it. And you really want to take the time as you're setting up camp just in case, you know, a crazy storm comes through you're not expecting, anything like that. You really want to spend the time when you're setting up the camp to really make it bomb proof. So the last thing you want to do is be on a hike away from your camp, a day hike, come back and your tent's blown away, your tarp's all torn to crap, anything like that. Just spend the time when you're setting it up. Just make sure you do it right, make it sure it's really secure, all that. There's a prusik hitch on the ridge line. Now to secure it to the tarp, I'm just going to go through here, either or, this particular style. I could go around this as well, but I'm going to use this plastic since it's on it. And then to secure it here, I'm just going to do, let's do a square knot or a reef knot. And then that secures it to the line. I'm going to repeat this process on the other end. And we got a spider on the ridge line. Quarters matches my shirt. I like it. Make sure it's clean. It's tight where I want it on the ridge line. Good to go. Now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tension this you know really crazy on the ridge line right now the tarp because there's still I, I got to get my guy lines out and as I'm going through it to get it really where I wanted it at the end I, all this is adjustable with through the method I have with uh, with my guy lines which I'll get into right now I'm gonna grab a couple stakes over here get them in the ground and show you actually I'm gonna stay there I'll grab a rock here. So I've already done a video on how to uh, let me just get this inside my shirt. On how to use uh, how to make a stake like this if you don't if you're not going to bring any with you. So we're just going to eyeball 
the pitch I want of my of my tarp. And what's nice about how what I'm gonna do is I can just put the put the stake in where I want it, then I can uh, deal with the guy line doing that around it then later. See about good. I'm gonna put this at a little bit of an angle away from the tarp, away from where I'm gonna sort of sit at an angle like this in the ground. And I already have um, I already have a taut line hitch on this one, and I've done a video on how to do this. I think there's a, maybe one or two of them that don't have any. I'll show you how to tie a clip when I get to them. But the reason why I like this taut line hitch is have my stake in the ground, pretty much kind of where I want it. This might actually be a little bit too close. This quarters might be a little too close. But then basically I can just loop this around the stake, and then just slide the hitch over the static end to tighten this up. And this way I'm not fussing. Nah, not enough room. This is a little bit longer than I'd want. But what I can do, sort of gauge it and back the stake up then. And this is all trial and error, you know. Yeah, I got that wrong the first time with the stake, but that's just how it goes. Trial and error. You can see how that's tension in that now. I'm not going to get this super tight yet because I want to get all the other stakes up in the rocks. All that good stuff. On this end over here, I'm going to use this rock in case you're in a sort of desert, desert climate and you can't get into the ground with the stake or really hard compacted surface. You can use a rock, you can use a bucked log, you could use you know, anything that has weight that's going to help. And I'll show you in a minute once I get this out how that taut line hitch works to go over a rock. Yeah, this one doesn't have it in it. I'm going to tie one real quick. Let me just get around my, around my leg. this up a little bit. And if you want to get over, I'm going to study if you can pick this up from over there. And at this point, I'm just going to set the weight of the rock in this loop I've made with my hitch. Tighten up a little bit if I want. And then just pull the weight on the rock where it needs to be. Here. I might need to back this stake up again. Probably will. That's okay. I'll do that now because I'll probably need to do it at the end. I can just tell with where it is, but that's all right. This is the trial and error, like I said, as it goes when you're putting up your tent, your tarp for the first couple times. I can adjust the tension then too. So I'm going to let this go a little bit. Get the other one. I'm going to move on to the other side. Another stake already made here. Come around behind you, Sony. Come down to this end. So 
All right, fine. Do the same thing over here. Put the gauge where I want it. Where my stake might need to be. Going to the substrate. doesn't have one either. Oh yeah, it does. Nice. So I can just put this, have this little loop in the end of it from the taut line. Put this around my stake. And secured. And any tension on it. Just hold the hitch. Tension that puppy up. And let me grab my pack just to show you why I really like this taut line hitch on the end of a guy line. Obviously, if it's raining, you don't want your pack out hanging unprotected. But the point is you can go around larger objects. It's really versatile using a taut line hitch on a guy line. This one doesn't have one either. Let me tie it real quick. I can go around my leg. This is just how I learned it. Sorry. Keep things straight in my head. I think I make it clean. How I want it. And some cordage is much more forgiving and easier. Um, to do certain hitches and knots with. But this one works okay. This type of cordage came with the tarp. Okay, now I got that. Open up this loop now. Sort of eyeball it where I kind of want it. And I'm going to go back and do a fine a tune adjustment once I get, you know, my anchor points kind of where I want them. So the tarp is not going to be at its sort of final resting place now, but pull my bag through this loop. And I have another anchor point. And just by pulling this where I want it, the weight, the sort of how I tension it, and I can see. Now that's all my anchor points done, Stoney. If you want to try to get up to show, or if maybe you can see it under here, you can see how there's not a lot of, um, you can see how this isn't quite taut. Still a lot of play in it. I can do a couple things to compensate for that. What I want to do first is I want to come around you here. This this taut line right here, I want to take a little bit of tension off of that, which is going to bring the ridge the, taut, the ridge line up, and it's going to take a little bit of tension, so I can go over here, adjust, and sort of center center this seam. Sort of center this seam here. You can see it's not right on our ridge line; it's hanging. I can do that, you know, sort of opening that up holding it there and then adjusting my different anchor point. That. that looks pretty close. I'm going to take my prusik hitches and bring this up a little bit. And that's just going to start to tighten. I'm going to go to the other end. Pretty good. Work maybe. I like to kind of sort of think if you're going to be doing it like this to, um, you know, kind of work your way around it evenly if you need to adjust it. Kind of sort of give a look out. You see how this is not quite as hard as I wanted. I really ideally don't want it like that. So 
So what I might do, bring my stake in a little bit closer. Bring this out. Get the tension off this. Pick up my stake. Much better. Much better in my eyes, at least. Not sure, if it, not sure if it's picking up on camera, but. You can just see with the, the level of the ridge line how much I'm really pulling down on that to really secure uh, my part. But that's what you want. Like I said, now I'll just continue to do this to go back, fine tune it all, really adjust it where I want it. But this is basically, you know, sort of how you'd fine tune it, how you walk around it, kind of how you want to see the angles. You want to make sure it's got a nice pitch and it's really taut. You can imagine if water's hitting it, you just want to see the water come off at an angle and just be able to shed. You don't want your <clears throat> tarp being really loose, any of that bad stuff. But this is Crick signing out with Black Outdoors. Later, turtles.